Since I talked about trucks in my previous videos this year, I thought that for a change of pace, I would talk about the 950M cat wheel loader made by Diecast Masters in 164 scale. For those of you that are new to my channel, and those of you who might have missed my two videos I made on the history of the Caterpillar Corporation, please go to my channel or click the links in the description below to view those videos. I think that you'll find them interesting. I personally found researching CAT and making these videos very fascinating. Briefly, these videos discuss CAT's origin to the present day. Also, take a quick moment to tap that subscribe button and join my YouTube channel. Diecast Masters took over the CAT contract from Norscott in 2015 and has begun making several 164 scale diecast models of Caterpillar's light and heavy duty construction equipment. The models are highly detailed. They made 164 models of the 272D2 skid steer loader, the 297D2 compact track loader, the 950M wheel loader, the 988H wheel loader, the D6R track type dozer with ripper, the 320F L track hydraulic excavator, the 385C L track hydraulic excavator, the 775E off highway dump truck, the 611 wheel tractor hand scraper. Quite the lineup with more to come. You can buy all of these while supplies last on my website diecastmastersconstruction.com The merger of Best and Holt in 1910 began Caterpillar. Caterpillar soon became the lead innovator in heavy equipment and in the 1960s would produce their first rubber tired loaders. However, the world's first loader was created by Ed Wagner and Sons contractors in 1936 called the Scoopmobile. Using their idea, Caterpillar developed a whole new design, starting with the shovel tractor from their own factory. Cat called their invention the number six Traxcavator. While Traxcavator recalls thoughts of Cat Yellow, the term was not born at Caterpillar. Traxon Company of Milwaukee, Wisconsin made shovel attachments for tractors from 1922 to 1952. The term was their brand name, a combination of the words tractor and excavator. In the 1940s, mechanical shovels used a cable lift system rather than hydraulics. It wasn't until 1948 that the first hydraulic shovel attachment was created for the CAT D4 tractor. This collaboration led Caterpillar to see an opportunity. CAT purchased Traction Company in December of 1951, and the term Traxcavator became Caterpillar property. Just a year later, they released the model number six, integrating the idea of the attachments into their static design. Just seven years later, they introduced the number 944 Traxcavator. Caterpillar took the concepts of the model number six and replaced the Trax with rubber tires for roadway use. Produced in Peoria, Illinois, the number 944 featured two engine choices, the D330 four-cylinder diesel engine or a standard six-cylinder gasoline engine. The 944 had many innovative features for its time. Having a top speed of 24 miles per hour the operator could choose between four-wheel drive for production use or two-wheel drive for traveling on the roadways. The increased mobility required CAT to give the number 944 new brake system. The dual braking system allowed the operator to control the transmission or stop the machine entirely during production. The success of the number 944 provided Caterpillar with a whole new line of machines. The name Traxcavator was changed to Wheel Loader. 
to fit with the replacement of the tracks with rubber tires. Wheel loader has become the accepted designation of rubber tired loaders ever since. Caterpillar and other manufacturers still make a variety of wheel loaders today as they are such a useful machine on construction sites, farms, quarries, mines, and other sites where earth or other bulk materials need to be loaded quickly. Caterpillar was not done with earth moving innovations in 1959. In 1963, the 988 was produced. The 988 became Caterpillar's first articulated wheel loader. The 988 would become the most popular model that Cat had ever offered. With increased mobility afforded by the articulation, the 988 articulated wheel loader soon became the most wanted loader in the market. The 988 led Caterpillar to making the monster wheel loaders that we see at work today. Learn more about the 988 in my video on Caterpillar's 988H wheel loader with the link below. Learning from their success with the 988, Caterpillar engineers started working on a smaller machine with the same characteristics as the 988. What came about was the 950 articulated wheel loader in 1965. The 950 has proven to be one of the most popular machines Cat offers with many iterations being created over the years. The latest iteration in their 950 wheel loader lineup is the M series. The M series has significant improvements to environmental impact, to fuel efficiency and operator safety, as well as improved capabilities in the medium wheel loader class of equipment. The CAT 950M is the choice for a medium sized wheel loader because applying proven technology and components means more dependable results for your work. Deep system integration results in lower fuel consumption on average as compared to previous generation machines. Extended engine oil, engine oil filter, hydraulic filter, and transmission oil change intervals save you time, money, and energy. Modern Caterpillar wheel loaders are leading the industry in innovation. Here we've got the CAT 950M wheel loader. This one is in 164 scale and it is also by Diecast Masters. Diecast Masters was great when they answered our call asking for 64 scale construction equipment that we could haul on our low boys. They came out with this one, which this is a 950M is a much, much smaller machine than the other one that they made. And this one will fit great on pretty much any low boy, even with just a tandem axle tractor. Because the real machine only weighs 42,357 pounds. It has a length of 26 foot 11 inches with the bucket on the ground. And it has a width of 9 foot 3 inches to 10 foot 5 inches. That depends on what bucket and wheel set you have put on it. It also has a height of 11 foot 4 inches. So with its width, you are going to need an oversized load permit to haul this machine simply because of its width not because of its weight. It carries a multiple different buckets from a 3.3 yards little bucket all the way up to a 12 yards. Now that's going to be hauling and loading up uh, soft dirt, soft material in that one because this doesn't have a huge breakout force at only 40,690 pounds. If you needed to move much bigger stuff, you're going to have to go up to the 988 and the 990 cats. Now this one, it's powered by a CAT C 7.1 Acert diesel engine that puts out 230 horsepower. The model that Diecast Masters made, it features working hydraulics. Raising and lowering the bucket and dumping the bucket. It also has hydraulic cylinders on the steering to make it articulated steering, just like the real one. It features lights on the front and up on the cab, just like they're supposed to be. You can see that cat logo up there on the window and on the seat, actually, of this one. 
Again, this one is a joystick controlled, not a steering wheel controlled. And maybe we can see down inside to see that nice detailed interior they put in this machine. Isn't that pretty cool? You can see the mirrors on the sides. It's got the ladders and all the hand railing that the real one would have. As it turns around, you can see up on top, you can see the trademark of the Caterpillar mitered exhaust on it. That's just classic Caterpillar. And there's the air cleaner on top. On the back, you can see the detailed grill over the radiator and the nice cat logo there. Under the and you can also see where the real one actually has a hitch. Now this one does not. Moving over to the driver's side, you can see the detailed door, the ladders, and the hand railing. This one has an oscill somewhat oscillating rear axle, just like the real one. It rides on authentic tread pattern wheels that are soft rubber and plastic rims. The body is die cast, as is most of the parts, including the bucket, but there are some plastic detail parts like the handrails. And the tires are soft rubber on this particular model. Pretty cool. It's great to have 64th construction that we can put on our fancy low boys without any problems. Or we can also now build that construction site or make that nice highway project that's been needed on our layouts. The Caterpillar 950M wheel loader by Diecast Masters. Designed to unload into any of the 64 scale dump trailers, dump trucks that you'll find out there. Pretty cool. And as you can see, it fits very well on a DCP diecast promotions or even the first gear, triaxle or quad axle low boys. Now with the weight of the real machine, this one will fit fine on a triaxle low boy. It'll haul it just fine. And that's because the 950M Cat is not a great big machine. It's got plenty of power and plenty of capability, but it's not a heavy, heavy machine. It is designed for small quarries and that kind of work. So it'll work well on your construction site or on a low boy. The Caterpillar 950M would be my choice for a real machine. And also for a model, I have added the Diecast Masters 164 scale Cat 950M wheel loader to my collection. For either a construction site diorama that I plan to build in the future or to put on a DCP low boy trailer to haul down the highways. I suggest that you go on and get yourself one too. You can buy one while supplies last on my website diecastmastersconstruction.com. There's a link to it down in the description below. Thanks everyone for watching. Be sure to like and subscribe to keep up with all the best diecast to add to your collection. I'll be back in the warehouse soon with another episode of Toy Talk.